Welcome, Taurus. This reading is for you. As we're going into this eclipse in Scorpio, um, for the overall energies, it's actually going to be a lot of letting go of things that aren't really working for you no more. Usually with the eclipses, there's, there's a lot of purging going on. And uh, this energy is no different. I feel like um, for the collective itself, there's going to be a lot of letting go of things um, that aren't really working in your life. This, this doesn't necessarily have to be relationships. This could be you cleaning out your closet, you purging or decluttering. Um, this could also be letting go of a job that actually is no longer fulfilling to you. Um, so yeah, this could be in many different aspects of your life. But yeah, this is the season. Okay, Eight of Pentacles. The Eight of Pentacles. Are you focused on work right now? Are you, you're, you're dealing with work situations, maybe. You've definitely been working hard. You're trying to master your craft here. Okay, the Five of Pentacles. Swords. The Queen of Wands. Okay. And the Judgment. All right. Well, if this is a work situation, I feel like you started out the situation with so much energy, so much enthusiasm. Um, you're ready to jump in, but you came across a situation who really left you feeling uncommitted to the situation. Um, although you're still working hard, I feel like there's a lot of disappointments and you're looking for how to renew the situation. You're looking for how to move past it. Bring that, that feeling back of you enjoying something. This could be your home, I'm feeling. Um, if this is your home, you actually started out feeling really good about it and then um, seeing all the work that needed to to go in it. You're trying to you're trying to bring that back. If this is a work situation, that that's the same as well. Now, um, I'm feeling like maybe you are too hasty. Uh, you made decisions too quickly on something. And the sword is up, so I feel like it's still one in your favor. But I, I feel like you kind of jumped the gun a little bit. Wow, okay. The hermit. Okay. Yeah, you're really looking... 
you're really looking for that light there. But I feel like I feel like you know the truth of the situation. See, the hermit, he's carrying the star. So he knows the truth and he has a lot of hope that is coming forward. Yeah, you have the Eight of Pentacles and the Wheel of Fortune. So it seems like you you're you went around and around in your head about the situation and now you are making your decisions. You're finding the truth about the situation. You've gained your clarity. And now you're moving. Are are you moving? Are you moving to a new house or a new job? Yeah, you may be moving to a new house or a new job. You're definitely moving to something that is more soothing for you, something that is more you. And the Seven of Wands. Yeah, I believe that you made the decision and now, and you also have the King of Wands at the bottom. So, yeah, and the King with the Queen here. Okay, so maybe you and your spouse are moving on to something, um, something new here. Something that... actually feels better for you. I feel with the Wheel of Fortune, this is actually going in your favor. This is going your way. You're moving uh, ahead of the situation. And with the Six of Swords, it's going to be um, it's going to be more soothing. You're going to be calmed. Um, but I, I feel like you're you're not taking anything with you, like you're you're leaving your baggage behind. The seven of wands. I feel like you're protecting. Are you protecting yourself? Are you protecting? What are you protecting? You're standing up for something. Are you standing up for yourself? Hmm. Okay, let's gain some clarity in this situation. The Page of Pentacles. Okay, the Page of Pentacles. I feel like this could be you leaving behind, moving to a new job. Maybe you felt like you had to stand up for yourself. You had to defend yourself in a situation. Um, but I feel like there's going to be a new offer coming to you. Let me know if this resonates with you. The chariot. Yeah, you're definitely moving forward. You're moving to a better situation. Um, this could be, this could still be a home. This could still be you moving to a new place. Um... judgments yeah this is definitely a new beginning you 
we're moving into a new new area and the hangman wow okay <clears throat> You actually have the judgment twice in this reading. So I feel like and the judgment's been coming on a lot lately. I feel like you're gaining a lot. And as the collective itself, I feel like the collective itself is really looking for a lot of clarity. They're really looking into the situation. And that, that goes along with the eclipse season as well. Because you're you're looking about what it is you need to let go of in your life to gain clarity, to be happy, to feel enlightened and fulfilled. And I feel like that's what you're doing right now. That's way too many cards. That's what you're doing right now. And there's actually the world on the bottom. So yeah, this is something that's coming into an end. There's going to be a bright new beginning. Um, okay, you've come full circle, Taurus. Clarify these cards here. And the Seven of Wands. Yeah, you're definitely. The Seven of Wands on top of the Seven of Wands. Wow. Okay. And the Knight of Pentacles on the bottom. <clears throat> so, yeah, you're definitely standing on your truth. You're standing up for yourself. You are. Standing on your beliefs. Um, she's also meditating and, and praying on the situation. But I feel like this is you actually moving into something that is more fulfilling for you. Something that is going to bring you more hope, more clarity, more enlightenment on your situation I'm feeling like you're you're moving past all of the old to get to the new that is the feeling that I have for you Taurus and you're definitely you're, you're working hard on the situation you're, you're not just standing back you're not just standing back you're actually doing the work. You're putting all of your efforts into the situation. And I feel like it's actually going to go in your favor. You are going to have good fortune in this situation. This is actually, um, you're at... I feel like saying, Taurus, that you're actually at a turning point in your life and you're actually making decisions on your future. And I, I feel very strongly for that. And I feel like with the judgment coming in twice, you're actually finding clarity in the situation. You're actually making a final decision. That final decision is actually coming, coming to you um, as we speak. So I, I think that that this is this is very good here with the seven of wands um, like I said you you're defending yourself you're protecting it is what you believe and maybe you felt like uh, you were done wrong in the situation um, but you're you're standing on that you're standing on on what it is you believe And I feel like with the judgment being here in this row, um, the judgment with the two seven of wands, you're actually, it's actually going in your favor. You, you are finding the answers that you need to. And with the Knight of Pentacles, you're actually moving you're actually moving to a better situation. 
you're leaving all of these things behind, all of this baggage, all of this baggage you're leaving behind and you're just, you're just ready to move on. You're just ready to go. Okay, let's, let's see. <clears throat> Let's see what these cards have to say to clarify a little bit more. Okay, spirits, can I have a card to clarify to end this reading, please? A higher view. Yeah, you're definitely the number 41 may be very important to you at this moment. Um, but yeah, I feel like you're 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 gaining a better understanding about your situation. the answers Taurus and you also have at the bottom here a beautiful uncaging so I, I feel like you have all the answers that you need and actually you have 41 and 14 so wow okay beautiful beautiful reading Taurus I feel like all the answers are right before you um, you're moving on the right path Go for what you know, Taurus. There you go. All right. Okay, we're going to go ahead and end this reading. Hold on, I feel like taking one more card. Here we go. Through prayer and meditation, I create a ripple effect of peace in the world. Okay, so yeah, I think with the situation, you're going to, it's going to be a more peaceful transition for you. And um, see, you have her praying and meditating on the situation. And I feel like, I feel like that's you, Taurus. I feel like that's you. And you're gaining an enlightenment in this situation. Okay, so yeah, we'll go ahead and end that there. Okay, Taurus, so if this has resonated with you, please like and subscribe. Make sure to view your sun, moon, and rising if I have them uploaded for more clarity on the situation. And um, many blessings to you, love and light.